Hey everybody, how's it going? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Khadija Baines here and on tonight's live, I wanna talk to you guys about confidence. How to develop self-confidence. Now, this is something that really truly hits home for a lot of people, maybe even you. I know for me personally, there was a lot that I had to go through in life in order for me to truly develop the self-confidence that it took for me to get to where I'm at right now. And I want to share something with you guys. Like if you're someone who has your own business, if you're a new entrepreneur, if you're someone who just doesn't feel confident in some of the things that you're doing right now, I want you to listen to this video. Don't just watch it like a regular video. Actually heed what I'm saying to you because tonight I want to speak from the heart. I really truly want to connect with you on a real deep level. Now, a lot of people, they talk about their journey. They talk about how they got the six figures. They talk about how they were able to make money overnight. I want to break this to you right now. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen that easily, that simple. It takes something very strong. It takes a part of you that you don't typically want to tap into to really actually truly make it possible. So hey, Wesley Virgin, thanks for joining. And it takes something that we don't like to share. A lot of us, we don't like to be vulnerable. A lot of us, we don't like to truly open up. A lot of us, we don't like to be us, to be the real version of us. And in order for you to truly become a successful entrepreneur, not just a simple entrepreneur that pops up overnight, no, a successful entrepreneur. In order for you to really become the strongest part of you, it takes confidence. Not confidence in the resources, not confidence in the how-to. It takes confidence in you. And this is what I had to go through. This is what I had to overcome in order for me to truly, truly become the successful woman that you see before you. Now. I'm the type of person that learns through a very different type of lens. A lot of you guys might be visual learners, you might be audio learners, but I learned through observation. And when I was, I'm trying to think of my age, when I was 23, when I was 23, I had the biggest observation in my life that changed everything. When I tell you, this one observation changed where I decided to work. It changed the people I decided to hang around. It changed my vocabulary. It changed every single aspect of my life. And what I want to tell you is this. What I want to share with you is this. When you allow yourself to truly open your perception, to truly understand and observe on a deep level who you want to be and who and pretty much what it takes to truly reach the goals that you're striving for. When you do this, your entire life can change. You can have the breakthrough that you have been striving for, praying for, hoping for, for so long. It can happen instantly. How do I know? Because it happened for me. It happened for me. It really did. Now, just to kind of give you guys some information on me, if you've never heard of me, my name's Khadija Baines, okay? My name's Khadija, and I'm 24. A lot of people don't realize that I'm 24, but I am. And I wanna share with you my journey. I wanna share with you, if you're a new entrepreneur, what you can do right now, tonight. What can you do in order to truly start to become successful, in order for you to actually build self-confidence, in order for you, you, you watching this video right now, in order for you to become the person that you know is there, the person that you feel in the pit of your stomach, the person that is like the whisper in the back of your mind that's always telling you keep going, keep going, even when you don't know the answers. In order for you to become that person, you have to have confidence. You have to have confidence in you. Hey, Anna, thanks for joining, girl. So, okay. I'm the second youngest, okay? I have six siblings. And growing up, I didn't have much. I didn't. 
you know, we struggled a lot. I'm the only one to graduate in my family. I'm the only one to go to college in my family. I'm the only one to truly have their own business in my family. And I didn't make this decision just because I thought that was the right decision to make. I made this decision based off of observation. It was all based off of observation. You can make one observation in your life, one simple observation, and it can change the entire course of your life. When you develop self-confidence, you have to make an observation. You're observing you. You're observing who you want to become and why. And that's what happened for me. That's exactly what happened for me. So if you want to learn how to develop self-confidence, keep watching this video all the way until the end because I'm going to break it down for you. And if you want to learn more, go ahead to my YouTube channel. It's in the description below. And you can go ahead and get access to my channel and you'll get access to free videos that I do on a regular basis for you. So self-confidence, let's just get into it. So not too long ago, I was in banking. Now I was in banking for about a year to two years. I was in banking. And, you know, I thought that was going to be the path I was going to take. I truly thought that I was going to climb the corporate ladder. I truly thought that this was going to be what I was supposed to do. You know, when I went into banking, I, I had to go through a hurdle to get there. You know, I didn't think I was qualified to begin with. But at the same time, I made a decision to just go for it. I made a decision that, you know what, this is what I want. This is the job I want, and I'm going to get it. And I got it. I got it from a simple decision, okay? Then I had to make another decision in my life, a decision that was going to change everything, literally everything. I had to make a decision to want more, want more for me want more for my life, want more for my family. And when I made that decision, that was the biggest decision that I could have possibly ever made. I could have like, I could have went and had all of these different promotions. I could have, you know, climbed the corporate ladder, but I didn't want to do that. That wasn't me. That wasn't the person I wanted to become. And it seemed like everybody had a path for me, but me. The truth is this. If you don't create your own blueprint, if you don't create your own path, someone's going to create it for you. And I guarantee you, it won't be the path that you want. No one is going to fight for you as much as you're going to fight for you. No one is going to fight for your business as much as you're going to fight for your business. No one is going to believe in you as much as you believe in you. So when you make a decision, when you make a decision to want more for yourself, when you make a decision to actually just put, put, your, put your ego to the side and just lean on you, when you make that decision, like really make a decision. Don't, not a maybe, not a what if, a definite decision. When you make that decision, amazing things can take place. Hey, Steve, thanks for watching. Amazing things can take place. Amazing breakthroughs can and will take place. Now, let me share a story with you guys, okay? When I was in banking, I remember driving down the street one day. For some reason, like, there was just this feeling I kept feeling over the past couple of days. I couldn't put my finger on it. Like, I was listening to a lot of self-development. At this time, I just started, like, doing more research, trying to get to know me, you know, getting into affiliate marketing, all that stuff, okay? But... I remember this one day stood out to me more than any other day. You know when you're just constantly going through the motions, day in and day out, going to work, coming home, going to work, coming home. And for some reason, like, I just couldn't take it anymore. Like, I just could not take it anymore. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. And I know you guys know this feeling. Like today is Thursday and you're just waiting. You're craving for Friday to be here. You're just like, oh my goodness, is Friday here yet? You don't know what to do. Friday's here and then what? The whole week has to start all over again. And I got so sick and tired of that. I got so tired of it that it actually made me physically sick. I literally was feeling physically sick to go to work. Like, 
I, when I would go to work, it seemed like everything was fine. I was happy. I was performing right. Everything seemed fine to the, to the, to the person that was looking outward. But to me, it was like a weight was on my shoulders. I didn't know what to do and I felt paralyzed. And one day, one day I made the biggest observation that changed my life. The biggest observation. I decided that I don't want to do this anymore. I had people that would come into the bank and they would tell me, you know what? I'm struggling right now. I'm on social security. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with my life. I wish I would have did things differently when I was younger. And I would always ask the older people, I would say, you know what, if there was one piece of advice that you could give me, what would that be? I was, I'm always a curious person because I learn from observation. I'm a very observative person. That's how I've always learned, you know? And they would tell me, they said, Khadija, don't be scared, just go for it. Do not be afraid to just go for it. And I was like, you know what, Khadija? You know what? They're right. My mentor, he would say, Khadija, quit your job. Khadija, believe in you. Khadija, keep, keep going. Don't, don't be inconsistent. Don't be a procrastinator. Khadija, keep going. My mentor would tell me this every day. And one day, I decided to listen. Now, I want to share something with you guys because a lot of you guys might be experiencing the same thing. You might be working a nine to five right now. You might be with a man or a woman that doesn't treat you right. You might have friends that do not uplift you. You might be at a place in your life and you feel paralyzed. You know you have a bigger purpose, but you feel paralyzed. You don't know what to do. You don't know who you want to be. Let me share something with you. There are going to be people in your life that will not see your vision. There are going to be people in your life that's going to tell you, don't do it. It's safe where you are right now. Don't do it. You're successful right now. You have a promotion lined up. Don't do it. There's going to be people that says, it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. So you need to be safe and don't do it. Don't follow your dreams. Don't follow your passion. Don't follow that gut feeling. You know, there's going to be people that tell you that because they told me that. People that I felt extremely close to, people that said, Khadija, you're amazing. You know, I had people in my life that said, Khadija, like, you're just so different. Like, you know, you have these abilities that other people don't have. Like, you're going to be extremely successful, Khadija. I can see it. I can see it. I had people tell me this in the corporate industry. They told me this, Khadija, you're amazing. You're going to be highly successful. And you know what? They were right. I am amazing. And I am highly successful. I'm just not at the place they thought I was going to be at. I'm just not living the blueprint that they thought I was going to live by. Instead, I decided right there in that moment that I was going to create my own blueprint. I was going to create my own destiny. I was going to create my own legacy. I wasn't going to allow someone to determine my success. I made that decision and a lot of people didn't get it. They didn't. I asked people that I used to look up to in the banking industry, like in the corporate industry. And I said, I said, you know, I just feel like there's something in me that's just telling me to just lean on faith, to just like believing myself. Like I just have this feeling and you know what they told me? Do you, do you really know? what the most people, the highest people I believed in that I looked up to, do you know what they told me? They told me, Khadija, it's not going to work. It didn't work for me. So why would it work for you? Khadija, it's safe here. You have a 401k. You know, you're, you're going to be set up. Like you have a promotion waiting for you right now. Khadija, like, don't do it. That's what they told me. And I said, you know what, Khadija? No, I'm not going to listen to you guys. I didn't have all the answers. I did not. I did not even know what I was going to be doing when I quit my job. I had no idea. I did not like finish college. I did not pretty much have full clarity on what I was going to be doing, but I believed in me. I believed in Khadija because they were right. 
I am going to be successful. They were, I've been hearing this all my life. You're going to be highly successful. Amen. I am. You are amazing. Khadijah. You are powerful. I heard this all the time. Like Khadijah, like there's something that's great. That's going to happen for you. You're right. Because it's happening right now. It just wasn't the blueprint that they thought I was going to follow. So I'm saying this to say this to you, develop self-confidence, believe in yourself. You don't need other people to tell you that you're going to be successful. Believe that you're going to be successful. Believe that you have everything you need within you right now. But I need you to do this one thing. The one thing that changed everything for me. Hey, Pete, how's it going? Hey, Richard. The one thing that changed everything for me. Be more observative. Observe what's going on around you. Observe the type of person you are becoming. Observe this. Because whether you realize it or not, you are becoming someone. You are becoming someone. Whether it's at the, your place of work, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's you working your business, you are becoming someone. The question is, who are you really becoming? What type of person is being created? from the things that you're doing, from the people you surround yourself around, from the job that you go to day in and day out, day in and day out. You don't even spend time with your family. You're around these people 24 seven. So who are you really becoming? That's the question. And when I asked myself that question, I didn't like the answer. I didn't like who I was becoming. And I made a decision that I wanted to become someone different. I knew the type of person I was. I knew my potential. I knew what I had just burning inside of me. I knew it. Other people did not see it at the time. I didn't even understand it fully, but I knew there was more. I knew it. So I made a decision to lean on faith. I made a decision to have confidence in myself. Self-confidence is the most beautiful thing that there is. A woman with confidence, that's a wife right there. A man loves a woman with confidence. A woman loves a woman with confidence. Like to have confidence, you have to be fearless. To have confidence, you have to just be, you have to have a passion. You just have to have that desire. Even when you don't have the answers, you just got to have that. That's the key. That's the number one key. So if you're someone who is a new entrepreneur, I want you to do this. Become more observative. Understand who you are becoming throughout this journey. For every single thing that you do, every single day, ask yourself, who am I becoming? When you're getting dressed in the morning, who am I becoming from this? When you're hanging around your friends, who am I becoming from this? When you're with that man that doesn't treat you right or that woman that's not supporting you right, ask yourself, who am I becoming from this? When you're working your business, when you're planning your business, understand and ask yourself, who am I becoming from this? Because it's all about who you must become in order for you to achieve your goal. You have to become the person. The goal is just the tangible thing that we see. That's just something so that we can touch it. But at the end of the day, it's about who we must become in order to achieve that said goal. I love who I'm becoming. <laughs> I'm in love. I am in love with who I am becoming. The question is, are you in love with who you're becoming? That's the question. So I hope from this video, you were able to seek some clarity. If you don't know about me, I am a clarity coach. I help people get crystal clear, I help business owners get clear, I help people like you get clear on their purpose because I was just like you. I was scared. I was scared because every single person that was around me failed, failed at every single thing they did. But I said, you know what, Khadijah, this is not my reality. It's not. I'm more than this. And I will be the 1% that changes everything in my family, in my friend's life, in any person that encounters me. I know I'm the 1%. I know it. I feel it. That gut feeling that allowed me to quit my job, that pushed me to just jump, 
that person is here. This person is not deep down anymore. I'm living it. I am her. The question is, who are you? So if you want to learn more about me, go ahead on YouTube. I have my YouTube channel down below in the description of this video. And I'm happy I was able to provide value to you guys. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you, Anna Boo. Thank you, Pete, for joining. Thank you, Richard, for joining. Thank you, Steve, for joining. Thank you, Wesley Virgin, for joining. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next Chaos to Clarity episode. See ya.